All right, guys, in this video, I'm going to show you how to do the double exposure effect. So we're going to go ahead and start with this photograph here. And then we're going to, when we're done, we're going to have this kind of effect. And this is something that we used to do with, um, you know, in film, with we're shooting film photography. You could take a whole exposure and then put the film back in and expose on it twice. And you get this cool effect where you would essentially be taking a picture on top of another one. Um, but here in Photoshop, we're just going to be taking this one picture and then adding this other in. And we're going to be um, using some of the techniques, the blue modes in Photoshop to create this effect. So let's go ahead and get started. Um, we've got this picture here. And uh, what we're going to do is first off, we're going to go select subject. So Photoshop's going to go ahead and run its selection here. And uh, it, may it may seem like it's taking a minute, but man, this is so much easier than some of the other techniques that we used to use. So, all right, great. Let's go ahead and apply the layer mask. And let's go get the picture that we're going to be using. So we're going to go File, Place. I've already downloaded it. I'm going to go to my download folder. I'm going to open this up. This is a, like a picture of a galaxy type scene. Let's go ahead and extend it all the way up. And um, what you want to do is go to uh, over here in our layers where it says Normal. We have all these different blend modes. So we're going to go through here. And you can experiment um, and see how, they, how it affects it. I like Lighten. So we're going to go with Lighten on that one. And then what we're going to do is we're going to go ahead and duplicate this layer. And we're going to drag it below. And so on this one, we're going to switch over to Normal. Now what we're going to do here, so we can just break things down. Um, on this layer, we're going to um, apply a, um, we're going to go Filter blur and add a Gaussian blur and you can see oh that added okay so we don't want to add too much of a of a Gaussian blur but we do want to create a little bit of blur here so let's let's go through here and see let's click OK let's turn this top one back on so there's the effect on her and um, you can double click on this as well and we can readjust let's so you can see the stars are pretty sharp over the model, and then let's see if we want to add more blur to the um, to the photograph there. Okay, maybe even a little bit more. All right, so let's also go. Now the other thing we want to do here is add a new layer. Let me extend these layers a little bit here, and we're going to drag this one to the very bottom, and we're going to go Edit Fill, and we're going to fill it in with white. Now let's go back up to this this layer here and let's experiment with lowering the opacity. And now we're getting that cool a cool separation between her and that background and we can just kind of experiment with how much we want to do that. Okay. Now something else we can experiment with is um, selecting the, the layer of her and then going into our adjustment layers and adding a black and white adjustment just kind of creates a little bit of separation. Remember to hold alt to click it to adjust our model and what that's going to do is create a little bit of a separation between her and that background. You can go into here and adjust the uh, effect of the black and white filter on her a little bit more adjusting the sliders. But that's kind of your basic um, edit here. That's how to create the double exposure. Um, so we just kind of took a look at the layers here. We've got this top one here. Um, this one is set to lighten, and this is at full opacity. Um, this one here is black and uh, is a black and white filter, and I pushed Alt. So when you hold Alt and you go in between, that'll clip the um, the effect just to this layer. If I didn't have it, um, then it would be affecting all of the layers. But if we just want to have it on her. We do that adjustment. Um, we've just added that mask to our model. This one here, um, the um, I did not blend that one. I just lowered the opacity, and we blurred it. And then we have the layer beneath it that is um, just filling in white. So it's just kind of creating a little bit of separation there. So that there you have it. I look forward to seeing what you guys come up with. Um, you can use the internet to gather a picture for your background. Um, I would like for you guys to take a new portrait something that's, um, that you can use. doesn't have to be you. could be somebody else. But using a portrait to complete the project and something from the Internet to do the blend mode with. So, All right, guys. If you have any questions, send me a chat.